Hi guys, Paul here, and in this video we'll be running through part two of the video on the ZMR V2. This is the FPV model version, and what we'll be doing is basically covering what you get in the ARF package combo if you decide to go down that path, uh, and we'll also show you the mini quad completely assembled the way we've gone about doing it, and finally we'll end it with a flight review of the ZMR V2. So if you do happen to buy the ARF version combo, uh, there are a couple of options that you've got um, in terms of what components you can purchase with this, but we'll run through exactly what it is that we've actually got with this package. And for the most, most part, we'll use most of this equipment. So the first thing I want to touch on is the motors that FPV models actually supplies. These are the Dragonflies. And we've actually used these and done a review of these motors uh, quite some time ago. Uh, Thomas has been running these on his Minion for just over a year and they're still going strong. So even though they're not the most powerful motor, they're still a really, really good quality motor with lots of punch and that lots of durability. What we have here is the battery straps that come with this package. And we also have servo leads and we've got a few different sources that we can use depending on how you go about hooking this multi-rotor up. We also have our power cable and uh, it's nice and soft, looks pretty good. So we'll probably end up using uh, the power cable that's actually supplied with this ARF kit. We also have a pack including some zip ties. Uh, we've got some heat shrink, etc. So uh, as you can sort of neaten up your uh, routing of your cabling. We also have these bulletproof props and these are really, really good props. Um, we've used these quite extensively, really durable, very, very hard to break. These are the five, uh, five by three props. We'll probably be going down a path of bull nose because we're going to probably fly this multi-rotor with a GoPro on it. So hence we're going to need a bit more punch. So hence we'll go with the uh, bull nose props instead. And we have our M3 double-sided tape and a battery connector. We're probably going to be using XT60, so we probably won't use that one. We have some additional hardware for the frame along with a antenna Now we'll probably use one of the ones that we make so we'll probably use one of our own custom antennas uh, we also have a 12 volt regulator so um, you may use this to actually power uh, your uh, video transmitter etc our 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter this is a 200 milliwatt and we have our nice 32 board now it's also available uh, this package with a cc3d if that's your preference and we have our antenna and uh, power cable which we probably won't use so what we have here is the video camera it comes with all the cabling etc uh, this one's going to require some assembly so um you have to put it together not 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 a big deal basically take the protective film off the sensor and uh, screw down the actual lens assembly and put the lens on and that's pretty much it so um, i've never actually seen them supplied uh, in this format like this and finally we have our sn20a ESCs. These are Opto ESCs that so don't supply power to your board. But the beauty of these guys is you can flash them with BL Halley and we'll probably flash this with BL Halley 14 and see how we go with those. So you'll obviously be able to uh, enable one shot on your flight controller. So that's basically the whole package. We'll get this together and we'll uh, cut to the finished multi-rotor. So here is the star of the show. And what we're going to be doing is basically fitting this guy out with either the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition or the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. So um, that's what we'll use to actually do our video with. And hopefully it uh, doesn't fall out of the sky. Now, as far as antennas go, we're using one of the ones that we've actually made ourselves. Only because I um, trust my antennas. I know they work really, really well. But uh, look, the antenna they've got there looks pretty reasonable so I think it would work quite well but our antenna is just a tad lighter so uh, hence what we'll go with one of our ones now as far as props go we're going to be going with the bullnose props and the reason for that is because we're going to be carrying the GoPro and that's going to add a significant amount of weight to this um, multi-rotor already so hence we're going to need a bit more punch out of these motors we're still running it off 3s we probably should go down a path of 4s and we probably will later on so this is the type of strap that we'll actually be using with the multi-rotor. Now it's worth noting that uh, the one we got come with uh, counterclockwise and clockwise prop adapters. And that just ensures that you don't, um, your props don't come spinning off, they don't come loose. So uh, 
If you can get it in this configuration, it'd be worthwhile. I suppose it just depends on stock levels. But as you can see, we've got uh, black uh, spinners on one and uh, the silver spinners on the other. And that identifies which is which. So this is the video transmitter that we'll be using. Now the reason we use these is because they've got two buttons on them and it's really easy to change channels. But having said that, if you're going to be sticking to the one main channel, there's nothing wrong with using the supplied video transmitter. And the flight control that we're using is the NAS32. And we're also using a D4R2 receiver uh, in the multi-rotor. And that's pretty much what she looks like. As far as cameras go, we're using one of our cameras and we've got it tilted back to 20 degrees. And all in all, look, it's come together quite nicely. It's just going to be a matter of getting the uh, GoPro mounted up top and um, a little, few more little hover tests and just make sure we get these PIDs close. And then we'll go out there and uh, give this a fly. The ESCs seem to fit really nicely. I quite like these. I could have put them on the arms, but I chose to put them inside the actual uh, body, only just to keep the arms as clean as possible. Being so small, the footprint is insignificant, so there's no dramas with getting it in your multi-rotor. And for the antennas, this is the receiver antennas. I'm basically using cable ties, and I've got the antennas following along the cable ties, and I've got a bit of heat shrink uh, over them, and that's pretty much all I've done there. And other than that, looks she's pretty much good to go. So what we'll do now is cut to some footage of it in flight, and we'll take it from there. Hey guys, Thomas here, and today we have a ZMR. And um, this is the one from FPV Models? Yes, and it has a built-in PDB. So this is going to be the maiden for it. Um, BL Halley ESCs in it. Uh, NAS32 running clean flight. And that's pretty much it and we're ready to go, aren't we? Yeah, it should be exciting. And we're running the Dragonfly motor, so we'll see how it goes. Yes, we're running 5.4s. 5.4s, five five so we'll see how it goes. 5.4.5s actually, but... Let's make it happen. So here it is, ready to go. And Thomas is ready to go also, are you? Yes. Let's make it happen. Okay. Get this on. Okay, you ready? Okay. I guess 20 degree mounts too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. You ready? Go. There he goes. It's very locked in. Any bouncing or anything strange? Uh, yeah, it's got a bit jello, but that's it. So we probably need to adjust the PIDs a little bit? Yeah, but it's actually really locked in. Getting us to 20 degree camera mounts. So it's coming past us. Here he goes. It's windy right now. It's definitely all cool. Uh, very smooth throttle control wise. It's very, it is windy. The wind's really picked up. The park is pretty clear. You're heading towards a person right down here, but you're not going to go there anyway, so you're alright. You turn off well before there. So I just need to adjust your pod settings. So this, this is a whole new setup, so Tom's got to get a feel for the whole lot. Now, this is the ZMR running the pretty much almost the full kit, isn't it? Um, that yeah. comes with FPV models with the Dragonflies. And it's carrying a GoPro at the moment. Yep. That's another thing too, actually. We're carrying GoPro, yeah. So it's just carrying a lot more weight. Gee, my turns are out of practice. So how does she feel? She feels very locked in. Uh, you can kind of feel a bit more of the mass behind it, like because of the GoPro though, so it's hard to Oh, say. it's carrying a GoPro, it's a lot heavier. That PDB on it's quite heavy, so it's interesting to see how it goes, but it seems to be FPVing quite well. Hi guys, Paul here. And for its first maiden, uh, the ZMR version 2 did really, really well. Look, I think the fact that it's a model really geared around someone who's budget conscious, or someone who's starting out in a hobby, and considering the fact that we were actually running this with a full GoPro uh, in a protective housing, etc., so it was fully kitted out, I think it did extremely well. Uh, the fact that it comes with things like uh, SN20 ESCs, I think that's a really, really big plus. The fact that you can actually run one shot on this, which improves performance quite significantly. For the, the way we had this thing set up, I would have probably preferred it a touch lighter. Uh, but having said that, look, that can be compensated with either going with a more powerful motor or running 4S battery. Anyway, I'll let you watch the rest of the video.
so we're on low voltage that was a half charge battery how was it it's good it's very smooth let's see how he goes with his landing with the new camera mount you can come closer there's good cut nice good throttle control there she is so i'll turn around this way so your thoughts it's good <laughs> so for a it's starter nice. pack all ready to go what do you think it's fine no problems at all it's really good actually considering that's all ready to go pretty much it's pretty much running the same equipment other than the video tx i think it is and also the video camera i'm using my stuff well, yeah, so but you can um, have a look at this though oh, let me just make sure it's not good have a look at this there isn't actually that much there besides the main wires that go to the NAS here. So it's just quite a clean build. So pretty impressed running the GoPro. There you go. Thumbs up. Really good.